Hey everybody, uh, this is Edger Joe and welcome to my second video in my three-part series um, on the spreadsheet and the calculations and integrating the charts and so on. So in this video we'll be creating three charts um, and just to remind you what they will look like, it's going to be like this. We have three models, model one, the number of people infected, so that's the first one we're going to do. Um, and then just things that I want to show you is that we want to have the nearest swamp at the bottom, the number of people infected at the left, and um, then we want to see the um, the values, the data labels, the 1, 14, 3, and 9, and so on. And then we're going to call it model 1, the number of people infected, and after that we'll do number model 2 and then model 3, and they'll have a quick discussion on how to interpret those values. So let's just go back to our spreadsheet. So uh, this is where we're going to do it. It doesn't matter where you click because we can move our chart. So what we want to first do is to create a chart for the number of people infected in relation to the nearest swamp. Um, so we'll just go ahead and create, um, highlight these two. Um, can I just say, if you have to highlight, for example, that one and the nearest swamp like that, um, you have to hold in the control key. So we don't have to do it in terms of what we want to do right now because the data we need is right next to each other. Um, so um, you can also achieve the same by just using one and then adding um, that as well. But I will I will just keep it like um, like that for now so you can see how it works. So let's get started. I'm just going to highlight um, those two by clicking and dragging. Then I'm going to go to... Oh, I'm ready on insert. So I'll go to insert click on this little uh, drop down arrow in the ribbon over here and I'm just going to select this one and um, I'm just going to click and drag it uh, to this side and then just bring it uh, maybe up a little like that I'm just going to sort of leave it there so obviously we'll need a chart title and we want to get rid of the legend but we also want to get rid of um, our nearest swamp, the, the blue one, because we don't want the information side by side. We want to see it um, slightly better because this one says one, two, three, four, but actually we want the nearest swamped for um, the data for this one and that one and that one and so on. So first of all, we're going to click on the nearest swamp, that one, and we're just going to press delete to get rid of it. So this is the actual um, data that we want to see is the number of people infected in relation to um, the nearest swamp. So we want to change um, the data that we have here. So what you need to do is click on any one of those numbers. I'm going to click on the two and that highlights all of those things. Then inside that box you want to right click and you want to select the data manually. So we click on select data. Now I'll just move, I'll just move this slightly out of the way. Then we want to click on add. Can you see here's the one, two, three, four. We want to change this. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to highlight under the nearest swamp I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to say before I say okay can you see it now it says 2354 which is 2354 exactly what we want and then I'm going to say okay and okay so now we've got all of that now we don't want the legend at the bottom um, it now says the number of people infected is exactly what we want but we want uh, uh, the y-axis and the x x-axis um, uh, labels as well. See that little plus, plus sign over there? I'll click on that and we've got our axes. We want our axes titles. So I'm going to click on that and then click on well you can click on any one of them. I'm just going to click on that one first and then I'm going to click again and this one we want to say is the nearest swamp. So we've got that Then I'm going to click on the other one and then just click again using backspace and the delete button just to get rid of all of those things and I'm going to say the number of people um, infected number of people infected there we go and then I'm just going to click away so we've got that we, we don't want this legend over here we don't want this one here so I'm just going to click on the little plus sign and where it says legend if I check uncheck that box it's gone so the only thing that I want now that is remaining is the actual uh, data labels. That is the ones that go, the values of each of these bars. So the data label is that one. So if I click on that, you see it appears. And then it's quite cool. So now we've got all the information we need. Um, so we've got our title, 
we got our labels for the axes and we've got the right data series and we have the information that we want for that okay so that's the first one the second one we want is the percentage of villagers infected um, the percentage of villagers infected which is that one again in relation to the nearest swamp so um, for this one I'm going to show you the other method by just selecting um, those five uh, rows in that column over there so I'm going to go back to insert I'm going to click on this icon over here and I'm going to click on that one and here you can see we already have the title and uh, I'm just going to uh, whoops I don't want to move the title let me just control Z to undo I'm just going to move that um, over here like that and then I'll just move this up a little bit um, I'm just going to click and go down so here we go so what do we want to do with this so we want um, first of all I think let me just hide the the ribbon so we've got a bit more space there we go so um, now I can see right so I'm gonna click on here so the first thing I'm gonna do is we want to have the nearest swamp so I'll click on the series uh, the data series here right click select data click on that edit button on the right and then select the nearest swamps and then you can see this changes to two three five and four so I'm gonna say okay and then okay again so I've got that sorted then I'm gonna use the access titles and do the same thing again so this time it is um, I need to delete one more time uh, it's the percentage of villagers infected so I'm going to use the percentage sign this time shift and five the percentage of villagers infected um, and that's what I need for that and then the nearest swamp at the bottom so I'll just do that nearest swamp so that is done and then the only thing that is left for this one is the data labels on the top there so I'm just going to click on that and go to data labels and now we can see our percentage of villages infected 1% 3.5% 10 10% and 9% just like we have over there so that's the second one done and then I'm going to use the same method um, for the third one I'll just um, can I go one down no that's going to take that away so I'll just go back up so in this the one we the last one we want to do is the percentage of unprotected villages that are also infected in relation to the nearest swamp so we want that information in relation to this information so I'm going to highlight that I'm going to just put my my ribbon back over here and go to insert click on the drop down click on that one so we have this and uh, so now I just want to collapse the ribbon again and now I'm just going to put this one neatly under that one oops under that one there and I can move down like let's just see if I can go down a few there we go and then I'll just bring that up like that so the first one is the data series for the X the X axes so I click on once right click select the data click on edit select my nearest swamp see that it's changed two three five and four say okay and say OK and I've got that sorted click on the plus sign access titles so I'm going to change that um, to the percentage of unprotected villages so the percentage of unprotected villagers where are my villagers infected um, that are also unprotected so I'm just going to yeah the percentage of percentage of unprotected villages that are infected there we go that makes sense and then this one is going to be the uh, nearest swamp of course it's all in relation to the nearest swamp because we want to figure out where is the problem according to our models oh that's something I forgot for each of these I wanted to say model 1 model 2 and so on so this is model model 3 whoops model 3 oh, I did it again model 3 there we go space and this one here is going to be model 2 and then the one at the top here is going to be 
um, model one. By the way, if, if you're interested um, and you want to change the colors, if you click, for example, um, on one of these, if you right click, you can see you can for, um, do all sorts of things. For example, you can use a fill for the shape. So I'm just going to make all of mine um, the same color. I think that looks like the same blue. But you could make it whatever you want, for example, yellow or red or whatever. Um, I'm going to make mine, I'll just for, for the video purpose, I'll just keep it blue um, so it looks the same as the others and um, and so on but yeah you can you can right click you can do all sorts of things but I'm not too worried about the cosmetics right now I just wanted to show you how these work so that is that then the last thing um, that I want to speak about is actually how do we use um, the data that we've collected and calculated um, how do we use that to determine just according to our three models which swamp um, is actually infected so if we look at model number one, model number one, the problem that we have there is the only information we really use, apart from uh, which one is the nearest swamp, because that one obviously points to swamp number three, because that's the most people that are infected. But um, model one does not allow for the fact that the villagers have very different populations. So there's no information in this chart over here that actually speaks to the fact that they are different um, amount of people um, in these villages is 100 430 and so on so you can't just rely on the number of people infected with model number two if I just bring it up like that so model number two on this side model number two does not allow for the fact that some villages are protected by mosquito nets so this one only um, looks at the percentage of the villages that are infected and it doesn't speak about the fact that some of them um, actually uh, are protected so there's also some um, information that's missing from this one although this one points to um, swamp number five as being the one that's got the problem and then if we come to our last one model number three model three is based on the infected population which is the same as um, model number one but not just that it is based on the infected population that are not protected by nets and is therefore the closest to reality so um, this one that we have here actually has the data of the percentage of unprotected villages that but that are also infected so there's more information that I use for this one and this one points to swamp number four as being the closest um, or the one that is actually infected and so therefore it is recommended that swamp 4 is sprayed because that one there right there is the problem because it's the it's not just uh, the most people that are unprotected uh, but it's also the most people that are infected so um, so that would be the closest now this is not um, that accurate obviously in real life you will do a bit more investigation but in terms of what um, you guys are doing in year seven um, this is fine this just um, is a uh, exercise to show you how to create models in the form of charts then to interpret those models um, to apply it to find out what um, swamp um, in is infected and that's the one that will be sprayed with insecticide thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video uh, remember to subscribe to my youtube channel um, and follow me on Twitter Thank you. See you in the next video. Goodbye.